Are you jumping? Are you jumping? Yeah. We're driving to family camp right now. It's a six hour family drive camp. from where we are. Are you excited about family camp? Yeah. Like really excited? Yeah. What are you gonna do there? There's cars. Cars? Cars. Dinosaurs? Dinosaurs? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if there's Santa gonna baby. be. Oh, Santa Claus yep. house, huh? Yep. Baby. Do you want to see babies? Look, there's also laughing Sal. Dad? Dad, <laughs> And then, are you gonna watch Parker go and Duncan go on the ropes course? Blue bush. Are you excited about Pancake Day? That day. You're and blueberries. Blueberries. Are you gonna go camping? That day. Are you gonna swim in the pool? Yeah. Are you gonna go in the creek? Creech. Creech, good. Are you gonna go on a huge bridge? Bush. I'm so excited. We are going to family camp and- Family camp. Yeah, family camp. We, um, it's a five hour drive and we just got Starbucks, so let's hit the road. Not literally, don't hit the road in, at your house, but like, let's go on a family road trip to family camp. Yeah, family camp. Yeah. And there's gonna be rose courses there. There's gonna be like a bunch of fun things. And me and Luke are super excited. I'm working on a lanyard. I've learned how to twist them. You can't really see it. It's getting in focus. There we go. I really wanna go to the pool. I'm so excited to go on the ropes course. I'm so excited! I'm so excited. Me and Bailey are on the back. back. I'm really excited. Uh, wow, uh, there is a lot of light on my face. Wherever I go with this camera, it's bad lighting. So, um, hi. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about going to our family camp. And this is going to be a very long drive, but luckily I'm prepared. I'm doing Duolingo and Soundtrap and writing. And also I'm reading Heroes of Olympus in the car. I'm really looking forward to going to our family camp. I'm really excited because we're going to go to the family camp. And do it, do it. Yeah, we're going to family camp. camp. So let's, yeah. start, let's start going. Yeah. Apple. Um, I'm really excited. I am right now rereading Percy Jackson. I'm trying to read them all in one car drive or when we come and then we leave. Just in the car. I'm trying to read them all. I'm on the first book right now. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's drive. <laughs> and we have Faith here with us this time too. So that's very exciting. It's Faith's first time at family camp with did, us. Did we say it's Father's Day? And it's Father's Day. I got my my dad's shirt and my dad's socks on. Oh my goodness. Dad's off. And it's our anniversary. Yeah. There's a lot going on today. I gave him, um, I gave him some Reese's Pieces oh, peanut butter cups for the car drive. It was very nice. I already ate them. Oh. <laughs> done and done. Father's Day. Yeah. yeah, we haven't reached the freeway yet. I ate them all already. <laughs> they were very delicious. That was a good present, Parker.
we've been driving for how many hours? Like four hours? Yeah. Yeah. And it's been good. And now we're gonna go to a romantic spot for our anniversary luncheon. What's yeah. the most romantic place you can think of? Definitely to go? a diner. A diner, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Teddy bear themed. Teddy bear themed diner. We yeah. stop at this place. Not this one in particular, but like all over California, we stop at these when we go on road trips. Very romantic. Very romantic. We're fine and say I got a joke for you. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Um, lettuce. Lettuce who? Lettuce. Oh, that's a good one. We're starting for lettuce. Dada. Lettuce. We're starting for lettuce. Mama. There's a mama bear? Mama bear. And a baby bear? You found the bears. <laughs> oh, so many bears. Look at all these teddies. Are you a teddy bear? <laughs> You want me to get this for you? Got <laughs> 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 Another bear? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a bear over there? Yeah. What are you going to eat here? Blueberries. Blueberries? Yeah. Anything else? Strawberries. Strawberries? This. This. What is that? This. Blackberry? Blackberry. It's my mom and dad's anniversary for getting married. And I'm going to give them their presents for that, um, Mom, I made you in a lanyard. Oh my goodness! You've been working so hard on this. That was for me? Yeah. This whole thing? All three of them? Um, yeah. Thank you. And then, Daddy, I got you another recipe. Oh my goodness. You are too kind. You must have known I was going to eat that other one before we even started driving. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to make it so that you could have that one while we were driving and then we would eat the Reese's Pieces and then you would eat the Reese's Pieces peanut butter cups while we are driving family camp. In honor of Father's Day, I'm gonna be using the Papa Burn hot sauce. After an unbearably romantic lunch, we're back on the road. I'm trying to think of other bear jokes. I can't think of any other jokes. <laughs> come, I cub you. Actually sounds violent now that I now that I'm hearing it. Burning. If your name was Burning, why can't, why can't your name be Burning for me for that joke? You know what my favorite part of your your bear jokes are? The long pause. Oh yeah, because <laughs> I'm thinking it's so hard to come up with more bear jokes. No, that was my bear. That's Paw. I know, I got it, I got oh, okay. it. But also, like, there's a reason, and it's true. It's funny because it's true. Burning. <laughs> I'm changing your name. Hibernate! <laughs> See how good it is when that's your name? I think other ones. Like polar. <laughs> What's another bear? Yeah, I don't know. I'm so tired. I haven't slept in like a year. I can't think of any bear jokes. I'm done. I'm barren! You don't have to from jokes. You don't have to pander to me. Oh gosh, I, I can't even figure out bear jokes. That's how like much I haven't slept. Did you just joke me over there? 
Yeah, we're trying to joke. We're really not joking. Okay, can I join? Except for Bernade over here. He's hilarious. Can I join? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't. I can't think of. <laughs> I'm passing the camera. Finn, <laughs> <laughs> is it really hard? Please give us some bear jokes. We're clearly lacking. <laughs> We're kind of grizzly with this. <laughs> Got one. When you get, when you cross a lion, a tiger, and a bear. Oh my! <laughs> I am hilarious. Luke has one, Luke has one. Oh, Luke, say yours. Luke. Mama. Mm, yeah, Mama Bear. Can I do mine? Oh, Duncan has one. Duncan has one. No, what do you one. call a mama with no teeth? A mama, mama gummy bear. Joke time is over. We're getting closer. We're almost we there. It's been a long drive. And, and Duncan is looking forward to some forest. We're I'm looking there. forward to some forest too. <laughs> I'm my, and I'm a ghost. <laughs> boo boo. <laughs> really, I don't even know how I became a ghost. That was so cool. Focus on Parker. Hi. Here, focus on my piece. Yes, I'm a ghost. What do you mean, ghost? I figured out how to be a ghost for the camera. I want to be a ghost. I want to be a ghost. It's pretty cool. It's just it's a ghost. Ghost. <laughs> I'm reading Hazardous Tales, The Donner Dinner Party. It's a pretty dark book. So we're getting really close to the forest. I'm really excited. Look at that. It's getting closer. We're getting closer. Look at that. Look at that. I'm in the forest. Look at how Wait till we get to the redwood trees. They are humongous. Oh my gosh. Look at my side. I just got one glimpse at everything and I remember everything. So, not everything, but like most of the stuff. I'm really happy. All right, we just got into our room and we're staying in sort of like a cabin this time. In the past, we've stayed at the lodge, which is more like a hotel room. This time, we're in this sort of environment. Hey, Luke, do you like this house? Do you want to stay in here? No. No? Okay. Hopefully he'll warm up to it. There's a couch here. This be my bed. Which I think is a bed and there's a trundle underneath yeah. it. There's a chair here. There's a chair here and a dresser. Uh, what is this? A, like a closety sort of thing? Yeah. Oh, cool. Everybody's got their own little compartment. I'm sleeping up here. Oh, wow. We've got a bunk bed up here. Oh, hey. There's a nightlight up here. Oh, very cool. Very cool. And a bed down here. Do you like this bed? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. And then over here is another bed. Bunk bed. This is my bed. Well, Jake's claiming the uh, the bed for two people. You're gonna sleep up there. Yeah. Whoa, that's pretty high up. Are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. On a bunk bed before. 
Whoa, You've slept on a bunk bed before? Look at the skylights. You can see the trees. Oh, that's oh, you can see the trees out of those. This one. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's the trees. This one's got less you can see the trees through the roof. And then in here, I think it's a bathroom. We're going to stay here for a few days. Luke, are you excited? You're excited now? It's going to be good. Look at these cute little like, locker things they have. Yeah, very cool. What do you think, Teddy? Yeah? yeah? He like the trees. You like the trees? Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Look outside at what's going on here. This is beautiful. So we've got to figure out kind of where we're going to put everything. And then there's like a huge sort of orientation <laughs> skit playing outside bounce house activities thing that we're going to go do right now. You want to go in the house? The bounce house? Yeah. Oh, you're ready for it. I can see your jump already. You ready to be out? What do you see? Bounce house. All right. Are you jumping? Are you jumping? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. What'd you choose? A butterfly. Oh, cool. He's getting a butterfly. A butterfly, yeah. Yeah, you like it? Can I see your arm too? Whoa, look at that butterfly. Luke, did you see the butterfly? Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah. yeah. Teddy, are you crawling? Are you crawling? Did you find the snow? Thanks, guys. Action going on over here. Robert, you guys get the snow? Dad, so bear with me. First of all, I'm happy in. Father's I'm Day, guys. Happy Father's Day to you. We're an open house a little bit tonight. Whoa. If you're in college, you're kind of close to college. We'd love to meet you as well at 8 o'clock. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned the thing that Luke is most excited about for family camp. The dinosaurs. We learned that if you can't come up with a good bear joke, just turn yourself into a ghost. Everybody loves when you turn yourself into a ghost. And finally we learned that the most exciting thing in the world is seeing a bunch of trees. That and becoming a ghost, as we established before. We are coming from our lodge, which is right there. Hey, hey Jake. Hi. How's your arm doing? Um, it's doing good. Yeah. Hi, Bailey. How's your arm doing? 
Um, good. Excellent. I think tonight we're playing red light, green light, so I better tell my arm not to catch myself. Oh again. yeah, Bailey broke a bone here once, or a growth plate or something. Growth plate. Yeah, she broke a growth plate playing red light, green light a few years back. But uh, she's not gonna do that this year. She'll probably play red light, green light, but not break a growth plate. Hopefully. Hopefully, no. The, <laughs> Definitely not, don't do it. That's what I'm saying. If you do, we'll take care of you, but d just don't do it, that's all I'm saying. We are hiking up to the coffee shop because coffee, we didn't sleep much last night. I was either half asleep or wide awake last night. Luke was so loud and the baby was so loud. So it's like whenever the baby woke up or whenever anyone moved, Luke would say, good night, really loud. <laughs> What? Luke a fire? fire? You found fire? Do not touch that, buddy. Is it hot? Ah! Hot fire? Mm. Say hi, fire. Hi, fire. You can warm up your hands by putting your hands out like this. Not into the fire. Not into the fire, just close to it like that. What do you think? You like the fire pit? I like it. Alright. We just we just received some, some bad news, and that's that the coffee either. shop. It it's not open when we thought it was. It's okay. We'll survive. It's just uh, it's a little unexpected to not have coffee right now. You gonna go in there? I found it. Look, it's over here. I don't think so. Whoa! Okay, I don't <laughs> you want to go in a tree? Yeah. <laughs> Sure, one hand. Oh, look at all these tree climbers. What? I'm waiting for Jacob. Um, Aww. Huh. Jacob, she, he's climbing around the other side way. Oh. She was waiting for you to step on her back. <laughs> and you couldn't even tell her you were leaving the other way. <laughs> Poor Bailey. <laughs> She's like, at some point, somebody's going to be stepping on my back. That's totally fine. And Jacob's like, bye. <laughs> Did you get all the way up in this tree? Yeah! Oh, my, you are a tree climbing dude! Baby! A baby tree? Yeah! I love it! It's so there. cute! There! You wanna climb all the way up there? Duncan, how old are you? Like 20? How are you climbing so high? <gasps> a five year old climbing a tree that high? Wow! I'm done. You're all done? You like the tree? Yeah. No, I'm not gonna Find anything cool? Yeah, cool. I'm just mind. jumping around from tree to tree. Just jumping around, a little 6.38 in the morning jump? Yeah. Guys, great news. They have coffee. It's just in a different place. This is where we usually get ice cream. But now they have ice cream and coffee. This place is fantastic. I do. Oh, did you hear Teddy say dada? Luke said dada. Did you say dada? And then Teddy said dada. 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 Luke, you're teaching Teddy how to say dada. Dada. Excited. <laughs> you're excited? Yeah. Yeah. Food. You like food? Yeah. Yeah. Banana. Banana. A banana. So. Luke, they actually serve breakfast upstairs. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. So pretty soon, what time is it right we now? We have 25 minutes. In 25 minutes, they're gonna serve breakfast. Oh. 
Another cool thing is they have a table full of board games so you can grab a board game and play it with your friends, which is happening at the other table across from us. Look at this Catan board. Never played like this. Do you guys wish we had a little mini Catan that we could carry around with us? Yes. Mm -hmm. We are here at breakfast and I have my shirt because I'm going to the creek today. A creek is a creek, but we just call it a creek. No, it's because it's a beach. Is there a beach at the creek? Yeah, it's a beach at the creek, so it's a creek. And I'm really excited because um, we're going to have a lot of fun today. And we're eating breakfast. Did you get some food? Bella. Cheerios? Bella. Oh my goodness, and eggs? Eggs. Oatmeal! Okay, after breakfast, the kids did their like day camp thing, and Duncan did something really cool. What did you do in day camp today? Um, I went on a really long hike. You went on a hike? Yeah. Did you see a creek? Yeah, three creeks. You saw three creeks? Yeah. That's so cool. Did you see any bridges? Yeah, I went on three bridges. They're also working on this sticker project. They're finding different numbers around camp. Eight. They're hidden all over the campsite. It's like a scavenger hunt. And they are finding them and they stick the stickers where they belong on the map. Mm -hmm. And then Bailey and Jacob and I are gonna do something really cool. I would take the other kids with us too, but they aren't big enough yet. Bailey's done this once before. Yeah, it was awesome. What are we doing today? We're going zip line. Zip line. It's like six zip lines over the Redwood Forest. It's gonna be awesome. And this year, Jake is old enough. I was what? old enough for like two years, but since COVID happened, couldn't go on it. And we're gonna have to check out like your cast and make sure everything's safe and stuff. But, yep. but this is your first year, hopefully doing it. Ready, Jake? Yeah. You feeling, feeling good about this? Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. I've got my thing. That's a trolley. Yeah, my trolley. Your zipline trolley. My zipline trolley. First, we're gonna do ground school, which is like a line that's not like as high as the other ones. And then we get to do the real All thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Bailey. Now we're up pretty high. Please don't drop the camera, Dad. I won't drop it. I won't drop it. First big one, you ready, Jake? Okay. Down and push. Yeah. It's pretty far it, fall. It was pretty far down there when you were going over it on the zip line too. But it didn't yeah. feel like it when you're on the zip line. Yeah. It did? Yeah, How are you feeling, Bailey? Pretty good. All right.
How was it? Good. It was great. It was awesome. That was a long one. How many feet was it? Uh, like 200, 200 feet, like three or something, something like that. Okay. Long? And how high up? 150 feet? Yeah, 100. Yeah, we're pretty high up there. It, yeah, it's hard to tell, but it is super far down. Like the tree we're on, it keeps going up. We're about halfway through it, and a little over halfway this on it. This one you can't even see. You can't even see where it ends. This one's pretty long. Apparently this is a fast one. Bye. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys here. I'll see you over there, okay? Bye. Bye. Fun time on that one. I think that's my favorite one because you can't see the end. Like you, you, you let go with your feet, and you don't see where you're going to end up at the very end of it. Yeah. Bailey wants to try and do the lean, so, so here feet she goes. So distance apart. Yep, yep, and just lean out. So you want to step forward just a bit. Do you want to tie your shoe? <laughs> don't fall, Bailey. We're all yeah. connected to you. Well, actually, she'll fly right in. <laughs> yeah, if you want to go back out and let go. You want to let go? Yeah, go ahead and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, squat down. Because now you, you can see how it holds you. Just lean out. Okay. Now, there you go. Now, just let go some. Very good. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Want to try it, Jake? No? <laughs> Too many broken bones already? <laughs> yes. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on. You gonna go backward? That was fun. Did you go backwards? I definitely went backwards. Oh, cool. Jacob, did you? No. Can you describe what this whole thing's like, Jake? It's um, it's like being the highest up you've ever been without. It's it's like being the highest up you've ever been. Yeah, pretty much. It was pretty wild. Like we we were on that platform, and we went across there to that tree way back there that you can't even see, and then we went on another zip line to this tree and then to this tree now we're going to go across this bridge and then this next one's the longest one on the whole course Nice, Jake. You had the smoothest landing out of Everybody. Bailey and me.
go. Nice, Bailey. Good yeah. job. How was it, guys? Amazing. You liked it? Yeah. Cool experience? Uh huh. It was awesome. What? Oh. Awesome. It is beautiful evening time now. And since we have Faith with us, that means that Luke and Teddy can go to bed now at a reasonable hour. This is a big deal. It is a big deal. Because when we've come in the past, the little kids had to stay up or one of us had to miss the activities. And so we're going. <laughs> Duncan is leading the way here. He's taking us to some activity that's happening. Here, wait, you gotta check out his hand headlamp. Wait, let me see that. Oh my goodness, you're like a, <laughs> you're like a ghost. <laughs> Everybody's taking turns being ghosts in the vlogs. There is some activity happening here on the field. I'm not sure what it is. Do you know what it is? No, maybe Bailey's on it though. Bailey's on it? Yeah, maybe Bailey. Okay. This is, uh, oh, there's your eyes. Oh, nope. Yeah, uh, hi. Do you know how to play this, Parker? Nope. I've never played this either, but I'm gonna play it with my flashlight. That sounds like a good plan. So there's a bunch of balls, and they're gonna try and throw them into our section, and we're gonna try and throw them back and not have any in our section. Okay, okay. We got this? Each round. Easy, easy. It looks like this game's gonna have some flashing lights, so if you're sensitive to that, go to this time code. Ready? Okay. Here's the ball, get it! Okay. okay, so now as a quadrant, I need you guys to clean or to pick up the balls and put them in the little kiddie pools. Okay. Over here, over here. They go over here. Worth one point. Oh, one no. One point. All right, I think we did pretty well. Great job, you guys. I think we did pretty well. We'll see how many balls. We got second place that time. Havoc. Havoc. But that's pretty good. All my friends, can you bring the balls right two, back to Two the out middle? of four? Not bad. I don't think I'm not Beach balls. It's okay, we'll get those beach balls right out of here. Oh, this isn't looking good, Duncan. We got a lot of balls in here. We won round two, but no time to celebrate. It's already happening again, let's go. Looking good. Get that one. Oh, that looks pretty good. Duncan, I think we got this one. Duncan, I think we got this one. What do you think? You think we got it? Yeah. All right, I like your confidence. 26, we only got 26 this time. We got 40 last time, 43. What do you think? 26 is pretty low, huh? You want the lowest score? I think we got it. Thanks for asking. I'd be shocked though. if we didn't get it with 26. Yeah. That's pretty low. That's a low what score. Yeah, that's a low. 47. Oh, 47. Lower than 47. They're still counting the balls from Anna, the other teams. You at? 215. 215. Oh my goodness. Wait, there, wait. There. Can we turn off the spooky lighting? Thank you. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, thank you. 26! Yeah! We won, we won! Oh no, we're doing another round. I wasn't expecting this. Oh, plot twist. Three, two, Let's go get some balls. Oh no, it's snowing too! How are we gonna see the balls? Oh no, oh no! Duncan, let's go. Whoa. You're all snowy. So at the end, they didn't calculate the last one. Like they didn't, they didn't add it up, and said we were all winners. So you're looking at a winner here, and another winner right here.
This is very dramatic. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's very dramatic. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned the mind-blowing fact that they serve breakfast upstairs. We learned not to drop the camera on the zipline course. And finally, we learned an alternate way to become a ghost. Welcome to the second full day of family camp. We are hiking up to the breakfast area right now. They do a big like buffet style breakfast and lunch and dinner. And we never know what it's gonna be until we show up. So I'm excited to see what's for breakfast this morning. I think it might be mostly the same as yesterday. And then they like change it a little bit. And then they do the same as the next the day before that and change it a little bit. But yeah, that's what I think it's gonna be like. It's usually some form of egg and potatoes. Yesterday was scrambled eggs and hash browns, so. I'm guessing this time they're gonna have French toast. French toast? Yeah. It's a good yeah. guess. I'm gonna guess eggs, but with like bell peppers in it. So it's still scrambled eggs, but it's gonna have oh, bell peppers in it. Or eggs with sausage. That's a good idea. We'll let you know, we'll keep you updated. Are you ready for food? Yeah. Yeah? I'm all ready for the winter camp. I'm all ready for my camp. I'm all ready for my camp. I'm all ready for my camp. It's looking pretty good today. We got fruits, berries, eggs, and waffles. You didn't get one of the moist muffins on the secret table. Secret table? Are you getting one? Can you grab one for me while you're over there? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> blueberries. There were blueberries today? You totally called it. Teddy's got some O's. Yummy. How was breakfast, Bailey? It was very good. It was very good, I agree. Now we're taking the little kids over to their like day camp area. Oh, and and it's gonna be a great day today. In case you're wondering why we're wearing bandanas, it's our team colors. Um, I'm on the blue team and Jacob's on the purple team, so that means we're, there are two teams and they're kind of playing against each other for all the games, so I hope Jacob was on my team, but he's not. <laughs> I was on the opposite team of Jacob in the game last night too because they separated us by when our birthday was. So the game where we were throwing the balls back and forth, Jacob was on the other side throwing balls back and forth at us. Now last night I played ultimate Quidditch with the purple team. Wow Bailey, that's like your dream. Yeah, I totally won. You totally, did you get the golden snitch? Oh no, we weren't playing it like that. It was like a weird version of Quidditch that wasn't Quidditch. All right, we got the kids back from their classes. We ate lunch and now it's time to go to the ropes course, the big ropes course, the one Jacob has been waiting years and years to go on. Yes, I've been waiting since I first came to camp 2016. Yeah, you wanted to go on it that day, mm -hmm. but you have to be 10 to go on the ropes course. Jacob is now 12 and he still has not been on it because we haven't been coming to camp because of COVID. Not that we had COVID, but we were avoiding COVID and, and Today is your day, mm -hmm. and you're gonna brave it with a broken arm. Fine. He did the small ropes course, no hands. That's fine. So I'm okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna be close by to catch him if he falls, and I'll catch him, and then I'll fall with him. See, it's even more okay. Yeah, Dad, totally okay. Dad, Dad, we'll help you with my ropes course. On Friday, you get to go on the ropes course for the very first time, huh? Uh huh. You've never been on the on the the littler ropes course uh, even. Uh, yeah. You want to go on the ropes course? Yeah. The day after the day after. No, no, get that ball. What? Uh oh, chaos. Chaos is happening. A ball dropped. I think everything's okay. I think everything's all right. I bought a ping pong ball from the game room. It keeps on bouncing out of the house. So I'm like, get that ball. Yeah, everything's on a hill here. So this is, this is where we're staying. And there's a hill going up here. 
and then a hill going down here. So that ping pong ball starts going and it's gone. And it's gone. Yeah, are you gonna go in the stroller? Yes. Okay, I like your shirt today. What's it have on? Guitars, that's right. You're so smart. Dada. Dada does guitars? Yeah, I like guitars, that's true. Are you gonna go in the stroller? Okay, let's get in the stroller, let's go. All right, we're gonna go on ground school right now, which is close to the ground, as it, the name suggests. And we're trying the different elements, learning how to use our safety gear and our zip line before we're way up in the trees. You ready for ground school? Yes. You ready for the main course? Yes. After ground school? Yes. Yes. You do. You got this, Bailey. Bailey's learning how to recover from a fall. Nice work, Bailey. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Okay. All right, now, how do you get up? That wasn't too hard for your cast? No. Nice. You're good, you're good to go. All right, then wait. All right, then hold on to just the trolley one. All right. Come on over, bud. There you go. There you go. You got it. Alright, we're out on the course now. And Jacob is like way ahead of me already. He's like way out there. I was supposed to be the guy like carrying Jacob around. But he's <laughs> he's just way ahead of me. I gotta catch up. It is hard to tell how high up we are. But very high up. We're not as high as up as we were. Yeah, yesterday we were up higher, but still. This kind of gives you a little bit of a gauge of how high up we are. We're going up there later. Very narrow walkways over here. Very narrow. How are you feeling about this, Jake? This one's a fun one, I think. Oh, wow. It's very wiggly. It's very wiggly. I don't feel like I have enough tread on my shoes. Careful. Thank you. Oh, Bailey and Faith are way over there. They're way over there. You can see them. Where to next, Jake? This one. All right. <laughs> the wobbly one? All right, I'll wait for you to get off of it before I get on it. And mess up your flow. So apparently we're about 60 feet up currently, roughly. You look down and then you look across and see how big these trees actually are, like compared to Jacob over here. See how Jacob, how tall Jacob is? And, it, and then it just, it's straight down. All right, I'm gonna go across the bridge. Jake just went across. It's basically uh, popsicle sticks tied together. That's how I would describe it. Very Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doomy. <laughs> okay. All right, this bridge here takes us up a little higher. I think it's something like 80 feet up. So as I go up this bridge, I'm climbing another 20 feet or so. And Jacob is completely unfazed. He, he's pacing himself though. He's doing a good job. He's not pushing that broken arm too much. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. What, do you, what is this element looking like? That's, that looks real wobbly there, Jacob. Oh. Each one of those is its own swing. They're not even connected to each other, except for up at the top. So when you do jiggle one, all of them jiggle. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. He's doing a lot of core muscle work here so that he's not using that broken arm too much. He's very high up. This is very high up. Nice work. Be careful, Jake. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Nice. Want a little break? Yeah. Taking the view? Pretty nice out here. Step up. We're gonna go over this element right here. And there's two safety lines. So there's one here and one on that side. So Jacob and I can do it together, but Jacob has some sort of plan. If we step together, I don't think it'll be laudable too much. Okay. So. One, two, three. I was a little late on mine. Sorry, yeah. sorry. A little wobbly. Okay. Are we yeah. still? Just for now. We just stay even to each other? Yeah. Okay. Wanna use your other arm to hold your thing so that you're not there you go. You can use both arms, so I just don't want it to just be your right arm. Okay, so here these are separate things. So one, two, three. Nice. Oh you got a little trap door there. Watch out for that. Oh I got a little trap door over here. Oh. You doing all right? Yeah, this is a little downhill. A little downhillsy. Watch out for that trap door. Sure Good. That. Okay. Door. Okay. Here, I'll I'll step on it and hold them together. Now you step on it. Look at that teamwork. What do you think of that? But who's gonna hold it for me? I'm kind of doing the splits now. Yep. Okay. All right. Trap door. Together. One, two, three. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was too much momentum. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. We're hitting this one now. This has a lot of trap. This is more trap doors than it is boards. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. I'll hold it for you. Actually, I don't know. Got this little space here with me. Oh, cute. Okay. Okay. A little wiggly. Here, you go ahead. You go ahead. No, we're sharing. Okay, we're sharing. Share it. And across. That was so much more difficult than I thought. Okay. I think we made it. Dry land. How you feeling? Hot. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. You made it. Yeah. You made it. Yeah.
How was it, Jake? It was fun. Good one? Yeah. Favorite part? Favorite. Who was that? Alright, we finished the ropes course. It was a lot of fun. And now I'm with Duncan and Parker, and they want to try the rock wall. So let's do that activity next. That's the big wall. They're signed up for that, but they're going to practice on this little wall for a little bit. Your feet can't go past the green line. This is sort of a sideways wall. But what about this one? Yeah, your feet can't go past the, the green line. Basically, you're trying to work your way around the wall without touching the ground with your feet. Ooh, you okay, Duncan? All right. Ooh, ooh. Nice save, nice save. Your feet are above the green line, though. Whoa. You look like Spider-Man. Boy, Duncan, are you getting geared up? Ready to go on the big rock wall? Not the big one, the little one. But it's bigger than the last one you were just on. The practice wall? You think the practice falls hard? Yeah. Yeah. Right, really the guard. There we go. All right, can you look up for me? If you want to go again, put your name on the screen. Sure it's it's right there. Can you? Oh, you gotta bring this right there for you, okay? Can you walk over here for me? Got it. You got it. Nice. Doing great. Doing great, buddy. There you go. You got this, Duncan. You're doing great. Find where your feet go, find where your hands go. You're doing great. Nice. Good handle. You'll see those stairs right there. Yeah. Nice! You're doing great! He is doing the most challenging one. You're doing great, Duncan. Nice, good. Good job. Go, Brayden, oh, Brayden, Brayden, look at that! Yes! Here we go! Almost there, Parker! So, I'm gonna have to ask you to go feed here over there, okay? Uh, don't undo it now, just put it over there. Parker is way up there. Almost there, Parker! Yeah! Yeah, nice! That was so difficult. I I got really high up on one, and then I couldn't get up that slope, and then so hard. I've I've fallen off of that one before. Yeah, I see. Oh, you saw me do that. We have a few minutes before dinner, so I'm taking Duncan on a hike and Parker. And we're gonna look for numbers. They give the kids a map at the beginning of this with stickers, and each sticker has a number on it, and they've hidden numbers all over the camp. So we go around and try and find where each number belongs on the map. So the biggest two kids are out playing somewhere. The littlest two kids are playing with Faith somewhere. And I've got the middle two kids, and we're gonna have a great time. We having a great time? Yeah. Told you. I Whoa. can't wait for to today. What's today? We're doing Zumba! Oh, let's go do it! I had to run back to Duncan's class because he left his hat. And while I was there, I found something. 
That's a banana slug. My kids have been searching everywhere for these. So I'm gonna bring this one over to them. I got your hat. No way. That's a banana slug. <laughs> what is that? A banana, a banana slug. slug. <laughs> just said a banana. <laughs> you see the banana slug? Yeah, Don't touch yeah. it. It's a banana slug. <laughs> right there. How'd you find that? I found it when I was coming up with your hat. I want to show it to Bailey. Is it a banana slug? Where'd you find it? It was on the steps in front of Duncan's class. I want to kiss it. You want to kiss it? Yeah. Go for it. Do it. Do it. I don't want to do it. Yeah, banana slug. You're going to kiss it? No. No? I want to kiss it, but you wanna... when it's out. When it's out? Okay, I'll put it out and you can kiss it in a second, okay? I'm going to show my teacher. How did you find that? It was in front of Duncan's class. Crossing the steps. Banana slug. It's co it's coming to you, Bailey. It's coming out the hole to you. It loves me. It loves you. Hang on, let me show my counselor. Oh, you kissed it. Okay, we're letting the banana slug go. Okay. Far away from all the Zumba, so it doesn't get trampled. <laughs> Zumba is over. I'm ready to go to sleep now, but um, I've been informed that there is a night hike and that my kids want to go on it, and so I'm going on a night hike now. So the night hike is like, you go on a night hike uh -huh. for an hour. An hour. And after like 20, 30 minutes, uh -huh, yeah. your eyes adjust to the dark. Okay. So everything's black and white, but you can see it very clearly. So you're like, oh, there's an owl. And no lights, no flashlights. Um, no, like, you have to be very quiet, you're in the dark, and that's it. All right, we went on the night hike. It was dark. You weren't allowed to have flashlights or glow sticks or cameras, so I didn't get to turn this on uh, to show you, but I, even if I could, you wouldn't have been able to see anything because it was dark. The whole point of it was your eyes adjust to the darkness enough that you can actually see without the aid of a light. And it didn't really work for me. I think 
It didn't work. It didn't work for you? The, the person said that the people could have like one or two glow sticks mm -hmm. and so Duncan had one and then this person in front of me had one so both ways forward and backward had glow sticks. What is the uh, protein in your eye that that makes it so that you can see in the dark? Do you remember? It starts with an R. It does start with an R. That's is it romatocin? Romatocin? I don't remember. Ro Roxaboxin? Roxabo. Robitessin? Yes, Robitessin! I don't think it's Robitessin. That's a medicine for like colds. Ro ro Rheumatism? Rumalescent. No, Rumalescent? That's, that's, that's the other thing. It has some scientific -y name that we couldn't remember, but it, we all remember that it started with an R. And I think that's more knowledge than we had before we went on the hike. I think we, we did pretty good. We learned almost a word. I think I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you next time when we'll have train day. Train day. Be sure to not miss train day. It's one of my favorite days of the whole year. And we haven't been able to do it for a few years. So this is a big deal. Train day is a big deal. So make sure you're subscribed and your notifications are turned on because you might miss it and you don't want to miss train day. It's a very important day. It's so important. Also pancake day. You oh, don't pancake miss day's that. the next day. Don't want to miss that either. So. You don't want to miss like basically any day. You don't want to miss any day. Any day really. We just had Zumba. Zumba was really fun. I know. Imagine if you miss Zumba day. You'd be sad. And then sad. there was Gooba. Gooba? Yeah, he's one of the counselors. Oh, apparently there's a counselor named Gooba. I'm learning all sorts Gooba. of things. I'm learning no, all sorts it's of Goober. stuff. Goober. We call him Gooba. Gooba. No, no, but you have to okay. pronounce okay. it Gooba. Okay. 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 <laughs> Thanks and for my watching. And counselor's name is Dugan. Dugan. That's a cool name. I like that. Uh, and anyway. The symbol is oh. his dog bone. The symbol is a dog bone. Yeah. Okay. Dog bones. Anyway. Gooba. It's dark. It's late. It's, it's, honestly, it's almost 11. I need to be in bed. So, good night. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that they keep the moist muffins at the secret table. We learned that you can achieve popularity at camp by having a hat full of banana slug. And finally, we learned almost a whole word. What day is it today? Banana! Banana? You're wearing a banana shirt, huh? It's train day! Are you excited about train day? Train day! Train day! We're gonna get some breakfast and then hike down to the train station. I feel like every year at this camp we are notoriously late. We're notoriously late to lunch. We get to the train just as it's leaving. And this year, somehow, we're on time we're for everything. Early. We're early. And not for lack of like getting up or like hustling the whole time. Like we're yeah. always working really we hard, always but we're feel, always late. We always feel like we're doing a good job and then we're like, oh, you, you guys are real late. There's I will like, say, this time we have Faith. Yes, I, I think that's the difference. Yeah, we brought, Faith is with us. She's amazing. She's a huge help. Oh. Also, we have a baby who does not sleep at all. So since he's a big believer in not sleeping, it's very easy for us to be up at like 4 a.m., 5 a.m., all the a.m.s, 2 a.m. So if at any point we're like, oh, we should just get ready to go a few hours early, we, we can. You see the train? You see it? You want to go in it? You see the train? Whoa, look at that train. You're on a tutu? Yeah! We are on the train! Yeah! Yeah! It's not moving yet. Do you want it to go, go, go? Go, go. On a train, you say all yeah. aboard? All yeah. aboard. Good! All aboard. Good thing, all aboard. Duncan, do you remember going on the train? Oh, yeah. Okay. Not really? So, this is like a new experience for you. Are you excited about it? Good. Are you going on a train ride? Is that your first train? This is the first train, right? Uh, did he go on the zoo? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. No, 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 you were pregnant. Train, 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 train. Yeah. We didn't, but we didn't come on the train. Train, 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 train. Here they come. This one. Car number five. Car number five. Car number five. Car number five. Goodness, the train is moving. Ready. Moving. <laughs> you ready for a train adventure? Oh, a bright train adventure. We're on a bridge. On a bridge. Are you guys train buddies? Do not ride on those. Um, banana. Yeah. Yeah, you got bananas on your shirt. Please go first the crossover bridge, over the platform, and into the. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. See all the trees. part of the forest. It's never been logged, so there's some giant trees in here. It's really nice because we were in sun, um, but now it's like, all shade and there's like a gentle breeze blowing it's really nice i just think that they're beautiful and i'm glad that they never got cut down and i hope they never do what do you see luke do you have a strap on mama. Mama. <laughs> are those mama trees yeah. mama. do you see any baby trees <laughs> cheese already. Luke likes cheese and trees. Cheese and trees? Trees and cheese. Tunnel? You want to go in the tunnel? Yeah. Okay, here comes the tunnel. Did you like the tunnel? Yeah. What? You want the tunnel to be longer? Yeah. We'll go in the tunnel again on the way back, okay? Yay! You see boats? Yeah. Where? Bo? 
boats? gonna do here but it's beautiful today bread bowl there. What do you think, Jacob? It's really good. I like to dip the french fries in it. Oh. Super duper. And this is also the place that has giant donuts. So we did not get the donuts today. Um, they're always very intriguing because they're like, whoa, giant donuts. All right, we got Bailey. We got Jacob. We got Parker. We got Luke. Where's Duncan? Okay, we got Duncan now. There he is. Are you excited? This is a really cool carousel because they have these rings. And as you go by, you can take a ring and throw it at a clown and make his eyes change color. I threw it at the clown. Oh, I missed. Okay, here comes another ring. Oh, I missed again. I missed again. He's gonna reach out for a ring. He got one. Oh, so close. So he's reaching out, he's getting a ring. Oh, so close. A baby horse? I went by herself 
because we only had three people, so Jacob didn't come. Um, it was just me, Bailey, and Duncan, so I went in my own car, and Bailey and Duncan went on there. Hey, I'm gonna do the swings right now, and I'm super excited! Yeah! Okay, so I'm here, I'm ready, and let's see the ride. I'm just waiting in my swing. Do 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 do. See you on a skirt. Please walk to your seats. Loose articles, including Ooh. sandals, must <gasps> be stored in the car. Oh my gosh, I'm going up! Okay, I'm ready! Oh my gosh, I'm turning! I'm turning! I'm turning! This was your first time going on swings since you broke your arm on swings. Yeah. How was it? You didn't like it because of that or because of other things? Because of other things. What, what was wrong? Well, I just had a thought while I was going on it. You what? Like the thing snapped. Do you, <laughs> you were imagining it snap? Yeah, that's probably the worst thing you could do on that ride, is imagining it snapping. Yeah. Alright, we're about to go on one of my least favorite rides. It's this thing right here. Dad, I can relate. It's I your least favorite it. ride? It's not, it's not good. But Duncan's now tall enough to go on. So on this, it's kind of like a Ferris wheel, but you're in a cage and you can pull a lever and stop your thing from spinning, which can tip you completely upside down until you release it, and then it spins you really fast. So let's... Let's do this madness. Do you want to go upside down a lot or a little or not at all? A lot? Okay. We are now in the cage. It's a nice view. It's a little chilly up here. This ring is what you pull back. And if you pull it back, it will stop the thing from spinning. Right? And then when you release it, you spin again. It's free spinning. Like we can tip it right now with our bodies a little bit. And now, oh, not spinning. Spinning, not spinning. Are you scared? No. No? You're not scared of anything. You're Duncan. You're Duncan Ballinger. Okay, see, now we're not spinning. And now we're spinning. Oh, 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 Duncan. Are you sure about this? Yeah. Because it's gonna get even wilder than that. And then Bailey and Parker and that, that cage right in front of us there. Ready? Here we go. We are upside down! Oh, 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 oh. Wait, you want to do that again? Do yeah. it. No? Yeah. yeah? Okay, here we go. Again? Yeah! Here we go! Oh, it's okay. Whoa, we didn't go all the way over that time! Oh, okay. Again? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, pulling it tight. Pulling it tight. nice if you don't spin around. Bailey, are you okay? Die. Jacob decided not to go on the ride. You're smart. Bailey went on with Parker. How was that experience? No. No? Yeah. 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 So what we would do is when 
Uh, I don't feel great. I had a couple of uh, garlic fries and uh, I'm regretting that decision, that's for sure. I think that was my favorite one. That's your favorite ride? Except for the swing. Oh. Do you like the boardwalk? Is it fun? He, he wants to crawl around in it. Oh. And it's too dirty for that. Dirty and hot. The thing that gets me about this ride every time is the fact that it's a bunch of boats. There's all, like, it's all boats and one torpedo chasing the boats. What did you do? Did you drive a boat? Was it fun? It was really fun driving in the back. Like, looking back at me and talking to me. Now I really want to go on the one where you stand and it spins around really, really fast and sort of tilts you and stuff. What'd you think? Yeah, yeah. What'd you think? Piece of cake, didn't even spill my coffee. This is my favorite ride here, the Cave Train Adventure. It's a dark ride and it's ridiculous. It's, it's great, it's fantastic. It's the best, right? It's the best? Is this the best ride here, Bailey? Yes. Is this the best ride here? I, I don't know. You don't remember? And you've never been on this? I don't know. I, I feel like you have. I, I can't remember if I've seen no, it in a vlog yeah. or if I've seen it in life. I vaguely remember like what happens when you first go into this corner and then I remember doing nothing. You've never been on this ride. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Luke, are you on the choo-choo train? A tunnel. A tunnel? Are you going to go inside the tunnel? Yeah. Yeah? Are you excited? There's a dinosaur up there. What did you think, Luke? Did you like that ride? You liked it? It wasn't scary? It was scary? Was it scary for you? I don't think he liked it very much. I don't think he'd agree that it's the best ride here. But I still think it's the best ride here. We had a great time at the boardwalk. It's time to board this train and uh, head back to camp. For a ride home today, we'll be riding in this beautiful... What? I'm not totally sure what he yelled, but I think it had to do with the train. Ride? Ride? Did you say ride? We're in a beautiful, like, I think it's like a hundred year old train car. You see, it's all made of wood and these nice cushiony seats. And this is how we like to travel on the way back when we when we do this. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Luke is pretty excited about the train ride. 
You ready for a train ride, Duncan? Are we moving? Not yet. Not yet. Are we moving yet? Yeah. Not yet. Are we moving? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> hey Luke, are we moving? Yeah. Not yet. Hey Luke, are we moving? Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> are we moving? Yeah. Not yet. I'm oh hey Luke, are we moving? Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Not yet. See, we're not moving yet. We're still staying still. Are we moving? Not yet. Are we moving? Oh, are we moving? Yeah, we are moving. We're moving. We're moving. Here we go on the train ride. Yeah. Are you excited about the train ride? Train ride through the forest. Are we gonna go in a tunnel? Yeah. Oh yeah, what do you see? Flag. A flag? Yeah. This is fun. A house? What else do you see? A house? A flag? Sir, a bus? Bus. You know that nice little downhill hike that we did to the train station in the morning? Now we get to do the that in reverse. The Teddy doesn't mind. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that there's a lot of mommy trees out there. We learned that Parker has a very different response to the swing ride than Jacob. And finally we learned when the train is and is not moving. Pancakes! pancakes? Yeah. You want pancakes? Yeah. We're we're get some pancakes. We're gonna go get some pancakes. Are we getting pancakes today? Okay. Is today pancake day? Okay. Yes, it is. Today is pancake day, and it's a fantastic day. You start your day off with a nice hike up to Pancake Ridge. You get some giant pancakes, hopefully with some strawberries and some whipped cream on top. Hopefully there's coffee up there. And you start your day right up on Pancake Ridge. And I found the best way 
you have chocolate chips in your pancake. What is the best way to have chocolate chips in your pancake? You ask them to open up your pancake mm -hmm. and put chocolate chips in the middle. Close it up while it's How do you warm. open a pancake? I don't know. Probably with like a knife or something. Then you put chocolate chips in it, close it up, and then you, uh, you munch on it, and it's just chocolate chips spilling out. No, chocolate juice. Thing. Chocolate juice? Thing. Here's my tip. You take two pancakes, put the chocolate chips in the middle. Oh, between the pancakes. Yep. And then you put the other pancake on top and eat it, and juices of the chocolate chips. Chocolate chip juices, chocolate again? Chip juice. Again. Sounds like the end goal for these kids is chocolate chip juices. So let's go get some chocolate chip juices. What are you doing in camp today? I'm, I'm, I'm doing the walking right now. <laughs> what's, what's at the end of this walk? All right, we've reached Pancake Ridge. We're waiting in line for our pancakes and drinking coffee. You ready for pancakes? Yeah. You're ready for pancakes? Okay, they're cooking them. They're gonna be good. Ooh, looking good, Jake. I know that look. Yeah. You want strawberry? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want strawberry? Yeah. Do you want? Yeah. I gotta have whipped cream. Yeah. 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 Do you want like like sausage? Sausage, please. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm yeah. ready. Pancakes that got burnt or misshapen or fell on the ground, they don't go to waste here. The kids play a game called the pancake toss. Yeah, Duncan! Whoa! Oh, so close! So close! Big talk! Whoa! Ooh! Good one! Oh boy, Luke! Throw it over your head as hard as you can, okay? Grapple. Grapple. Got it? Ready? Throw it! Two, three! Whoa! Oh, yeah! Good job! We finished eating pancakes. Now we're going down the hill. And Teddy was fussy, so we put on Hamilton. And now... He's very asleep. We are scheduled to do archery next, which I'm very excited about. They have targets set up. I'm not, I've never gone hunting. I don't have any interest in going hunting, but it is fun to shoot targets. So we're gonna shoot some arrows at some targets. Also the area we're hiking right now, up there, that platform, that's where we started our zip line a few videos ago when we did the zip line tour. That's the platform we, we went off of way up there. And we zipped all around here, all through these trees. I'm gonna be Katniss. You're gonna be Katniss? Yeah. What are you gonna be aiming for? A target? The deer-shaped target? The turkey-shaped target? The tree-shaped target? There's a lot of tree-shaped targets. <laughs> I, I always say I'm aiming for whatever target I hit. I'm aiming for whatever target I hit. Oh, good. The dirt-shaped target? The dirt target. <laughs> oh, nice one! All right, we're getting our arrows now. Duncan did this one right here. Good job. Who did this one? Who got this one? Nice job, Katniss. I got there's a lot right Whoa, look at all those. Yeah, I got this one. That was you? Oh, look at Jacob's trophy right here. 
Yeah, nice. And the nice thing is you didn't have to hurt any deer. That was really tasty. Did not have to hurt any of the king's venison. All right, we are gonna go on a boat. That's the next plan. We're gonna try and see if the boats are open. And if they are open, we're gonna go on them. Are you gonna go on a boat? No. Are you, this is like all he's been talking about is going on a boat. You going on a boat? Yeah. Yeah? What are you gonna do on the boat? Baby. A baby boat? Yeah. Oh, a baby boat, okay. Baby boat. I didn't know they had baby boats here. Yeah. We're hiking down to where the boat dock is and uh, seeing if they're open or not. Are we almost okay. on? No, we got a long way to go. It's a long, it's a long trek. It's about as long as the train, no. yeah. A little less. Okay. All right, here we go. On to the boats. Well, we made it to the dock. This is where the boats usually leave and the boat house is right here, but there's a lock on the door. Even though it says boating hours daily, 1.30 to 5 p.m. Last boat leaves at 4.30 and it is 4, 3.15, 3.15. So technically we should be able to hop on a boat and get some life jackets from in here, but they are short staffed this year because of everything that's going on in the world. So I don't know, maybe maybe boats just aren't gonna happen this year. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be okay. But this is where we would normally boat is, is out here. It's beautiful. You guys wanna walk along this path and see where we would boat if we were boating? Sure. We're gonna sure. pretend to boat. Here's a big stack of boats. All right, we got a few minutes before dinner time and the kids have not found all of the numbers yet on their map. So we are going on a little hike right now looking for one of the numbers. This is just like, look at this place. There's a, a river or like a creek. It's a creek down there. These huge redwoods. I, I can't even, can't even see the top of it. Can barely see the bottom of it. And it would take like six of me holding hands to go around them. Like they're huge. They're just all around. It's so cool. I love going on hikes here during the daytime. Nighttime, I couldn't see any of the beautiful things that were happening all around me. Oh, you found a monkey? Oh. All right, this is the viewing platform we were looking for. And if we stand here and look around, we're supposed to be able to see a number. I found it. Where you found it? it? Oh my goodness. Look at that right there. You wouldn't be able to see that if you weren't standing on here. Cause look, you go a little bit this way, gone. A Little bit this way, gone. You gotta be standing right there. You look like you have a halo. I thought it looks like an angel. An angel, yeah, that's what I mean. Hi. 
Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned the best thing about Pancake Day is extracting that sweet, sweet chocolate chip juice. We learned how to always hit our mark in archery. Just aim for the dirt target. And finally, we learned that you can't use the boats this year. Not even the baby ones. Luke and Duncan woke up this morning. <laughs> yeah, Luke says. And they were both like kind of goopy and definitely coughing. And so we were like, okay, we're staying in the cabin. Christopher ran out and he got COVID tests. Um, we didn't want to test Luke because he gets kind of anxieties and stuff, um, but we felt like we could test Duncan because he's old enough and it was very clear positive. So we were like, okay, we're shutting it down. We're gonna leave. Um, we told the camp like, hey, we have a positive COVID test um, and some and woke up with symptoms, but didn't, I, I guess like in hindsight, Duncan was really tired last night. So that I guess would have been a symptom. I just thought it was from, you know, playing hard, but he definitely had a cough this morning and that's what really indicated to us that there was a possible illness. Um, so we told them that that's what was going on. Um, and by telling them, we called them. Yeah, we called them. We didn't, we didn't like go to the front <laughs> desk and say, ahem, yeah. excuse me. So yeah, we're trying very, we're, I think we're doing a really good job. Um, not risking anybody else. Like we just packed up everything. And even when we thought there might have been a positive, Christopher went out with a mask and picked up tests and he doesn't have any symptoms. So um, we're doing our best to like limit any possible spread. Um, but it means that family camp is over for us. So we had to end things a little bit early. Luke and Duncan are okay right now. Like they clearly don't feel well. Um, but I think you could hear Luke a second ago, like he's talking in the background and get, you know, <laughs> making demands and stuff as two year olds do. Um, and in some ways his normal self, but he's a little bit more fussy. Um, and Duncan just seems really tired. So he's very tough. So is Duncan asleep you guys? I wouldn't be surprised if Duncan falls asleep soon and like sleeps the whole drive. We're just gonna head home and since we've all been in such close contact, we're kind of assuming ourselves as positive and trying to make sure that none of us are going out. The main objective is just getting home at this point and I guess quarantining for a bit. <sighs> this is, we haven't gotten COVID throughout all of this, as far as we know. And I think we would know because we're such a big family that I think somebody has to like get symptoms. Even if somebody had an asymptomatic case, I think someone would have symptoms and we'd know. Um, so this is our first time getting COVID. So it's time to drive home, here we go. We're back home, uh, and it's actually two weeks later. It's been a it's been a challenging two weeks. I want to start off by saying that we're all on the mend. We're all doing a lot better now than we were all of the last two weeks. We ended up all getting COVID, except thankfully our babysitter Faith did not miraculously. I don't know how she managed to not get it because we all drove together in the same van, and she tested herself a bunch of times and never got. A positive so we're very happy for her after the drive home Jessica tested herself she got a positive I got diagnosed with a positive the day after that then Parker then Bailey and Jacob and we didn't test the littlest two um, but they had the exact same symptoms as us so they obviously had it as well we knew going into this family camp scenario that there was a chance that we would get sick with something uh, the last time we were in a public thing 
was another small group without masks. It was indoors. It was an indoor water park. We knew there was a chance that we would get sick and we did get sick. We didn't get COVID, but we did get sick. So we kind of figured, okay, well, we might get sick at this thing. If we do, we'll go back into quarantine and, and not see anybody until after we feel better. And as much of a disappointment as it was to leave the camp early, we were happy to do it happy to protect the other campers that were there. Hopefully, the, whoever we got it from did the same and, and didn't infect anyone else. We really tried as best we could to protect those around us as we were there at the camp as well. We, we did distance as much as, as we could, and uh, a lot of the times when we were indoors, we were wearing a mask, but um, you know, it's, this is a tricky, tricky virus, and a lot of people are getting it right now, like a lot of people who haven't gotten it are getting it uh, outside of this family camp sort of scenario that we were in. Our main symptoms were uh, runny nose, cough, a lot of gooiness, uh, fever, chills, all that stuff. Jessica and I, because of previous uh, health history, were able to get Paxlovid. Um, I'm not sure if you say it Paxlovid or Paxlovid, but we got that. And, um, and that helped us out a lot. Jessica's first day of symptoms were really, really bad. She took that and it got way better. As soon as I started having symptoms, I took it and my symptoms sort of gradually dropped down. But then after the Paxlovid was done, after my run of it was done, my symptoms came back hard and I actually ended up in the ER because I couldn't breathe. Um, I was just really having chest tightness, wheezing, it was, I was worried because I have had pneumonia in the past, so I didn't know if that was like, it was starting to feel like it was going that direction. After a chest x-ray and blood work, they gave me an inhaler that has helped out a lot. I'm feeling much better now. Before I couldn't like go up the stairs without like feeling like I was gonna pass out. Like I was very short of breath. Luke and Teddy, they both got ear infections. So they both got put onto antibiotics. Teddy was allergic to it and broke out in wild hives. Like just, he was covered in hives. So we ended up having to switch medications for him and now they're both doing much better. Luckily we only missed one full day of family camp. We were supposed to leave the following day. Unfortunately, there were a few things that we were really looking forward to on that day. Uh, one was finishing up that map with all the stickers on it and the kids get like a souvenir pin if they, they finish it, and we did not finish that. And there are two ropes courses at that camp. One is for 10 and up, 10 year old and up, they can go on this really big tall one. And then there's one that's still pretty tall and challenging, but it's a little lower down. That one's for five and up. This would have been Duncan's first year doing it. He went to it several times, looked up there, was excited about going up there, but unfortunately, we were scheduled to do it on Friday, and instead we drove home. But we still got to do pancake day, we still got to do the zip line and ropes course for the bigger kids, that we still got to play and sing and do all the fun stuff. And, oh, I got a souvenir. This is my travel guitar, so anytime I go somewhere, I put a sticker on here. So like, this is from London, this is from New York, obviously, and I got a banana slug sticker this time from Santa Cruz, so that was my big souvenir. The kids got like water bottles and sweaters and t-shirts and stuff. I got a sticker, which I'm very happy with. We were happy to stay home and try and keep everyone safe uh, around us and, and quarantine and stuff. That was like not an issue. It was kind of sad that it landed on the 4th of July. The 4th of July, our family always celebrates and does something big. This year, we didn't do anything. We did watch the fireworks from our house, uh, but I I couldn't even last the whole show. I had to go lie down partway through <laughs> the fireworks because I was I was feeling it that day. The construction on our house had to stop. Uh, they, they were very close to finishing, but we told them don't come. We're we're sick. We don't want you to to get sick. So like we'll finish it up. We'll let you know when we're all well. And so all of the unpacking that we had been doing, all of the stuff that 
had been moving our house toward being finished so we can be done with that and, and live here and show you guys all of the cool new changes that we're really excited about. That all had to stop. So hopefully we can get that back up and running very soon. Uh, we've already started feeling well enough to unpack a few boxes, so that's that's been good. And we're really excited to show you guys the house. Like, it's such a transformation. It's like a different house. It's really, really cool. I'm excited to show you guys. Um, I'm excited that we're feeling better. You might be able to hear the kids. They're outside running around playing right now. I still feel like a little bit in my chest. I have an inhaler, like I said, and that's been helping out a lot but uh but the kids seem to have gotten better on their own and they're they're running around anyway overall uh we are happy to be home we are happy to be on the mend we're happy to get back into uh, the swing of things and um and we're really excited to show you the house like i said so thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed our family camp series that we did we're hoping to get more out there and do more things as uh, as the months go on so uh thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time <laughs>